Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another episode of Mystic Rose Equestrian Center. So let's get into the video. Um, first, I'm going to announce the contest horse winner from the last video, which was Lily, one of our foundation horses. Um, and then we do still have Truffle up for grabs. She is a pasture pony, wherever she may be hiding. Um, she's probably back here with the other mares. Yeah, she's right here. So this is Truffle. She is one of the pasture ponies. She is still up for grabs if anyone wants her. Um, she's a trail pony. We don't use her for breeding, but that's okay. And there's the beautiful Autumn. Um, okay, so our contest horse, Lily. Uh, she is one of our foundation horses. So she is right here. Um, she is a red roan quarter horse mare. She's absolutely beautiful. I love her so much. Her color is beautiful. She has actually um, founded most of the roans that we have in this world. So all the roan babies have come from her, which is super cool to think about. Um, but she is now owned by Green Sea Turtles, so congrats on winning Lily. Um, you wanted light blue tack for her, so she is currently wearing her light blue halter. And then all of her tack is in here. She has her blue blanket and then her jumping English um, and western tack in here as well. So congrats on winning Lily. There will be a new contest horse at the very end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Um, let's talk about the babies from our last episode. So we had two exciting babies in our last episode. So the first one was a base splash. It was actually a filly. So she has completed the mare side of the barn. Um, first, I don't think I ever introduced you guys to this other horse who I believe was bred two episodes ago. But um, she's our fjord. She's out of Jericho Juniper. Um, I named her Lilac, but this is her. She's this really beautiful color. I'm absolutely obsessed with her, and I'm super excited to breed her. She is stunning. Um, but our base splash was a filly, so this is her. Her name is Avalon. She's a paint mare, and she stands at 16 hands, which is pretty big. So here she is. She's also beautiful, and I'm excited that we finally have a splash mare. We had two splash stallions, so I'm very happy to have a splash mare. And then as for the stallion, we had a very exciting stallion um, bred in the last episode, and he is right here. Um, so his name is Levi, and he is a little um, Icelandic stallion. He is the tiniest horse in this world now. He stands at 12.3 hands, so he's barely tall enough to be ridden, um, and it was kind of hard to find a um, real horse breed that had markings like him, but in such a small size, so I had to do a little bit of research, um, but I came up with Icelandic, so he's now an Icelandic pony. Um, and he has really cool paint markings, which I'm super excited to breed with. Um, hopefully we can get more horses with these really cool paint markings. Um, but he's super pretty. I'm excited to breed him. Um, so now let's get started with our breeding. So obviously I do want to use Levi um, today as well. So I think I'm going to do um, him and Lilac, two of our newer horses. I think they would be really cool um, to breed, let me grab everything I'm going to need. Um, so we're going to breed him and Lilac, two of our newest horses, um, and see what we can get. This guy is not really the best, considering, like, his jumping's not the best. His speed is okay, though. So I, I am retaining him for breeding for now, and also his markings are really cool. Um, so we're going to breed these two together, and hopefully they can have a bigger baby, because he's very cute, but I like the bigger ponies. I think they're cuter, um, and they're more versatile, too. They can typically jump pretty high, their speed usually better, because they don't have short legs, but that's okay. Um, and then I do want to breed... Um, Gosh, I can't remember her name. She's a roan. I don't remember her name, though. Um, I think... 
god, what was her name? I don't remember. She's a red roan overo. I do want to breed her as well to someone. And I'm thinking... I'm kind of thinking spice, maybe? Perhaps... Or should I breed our new splash mare? I might breed our new splash mare. That would be a cool color. Um, let's do... Actually, I think... Our base splash mare. We might do outlaw. Outlaw would be a good cross with her. Um... Maverick would be a cool cross with her as well. Uh, it's very difficult. Uh, let me see. Is she tiny or is she bigger? Let me have a look. I don't even remember her name. Not you. This one. Ruby. She's a... 15-3 hand. So she's pretty tall. So let's do... Actually, you know what? I think we're going to do her with a cream. A cream colored pony. Maybe Cisco? Maybe we'll use Cisco. Um, we used Romeo in our last video, I think. So let's go ahead and do Cisco. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that and see what they can cross. Or see what their baby will look like. Maybe we'll get a cream colored Overo. Because he's kind of like a Dunalino color. Like a super dark um, Palomino. So let's see what these guys can make. And she's a really pretty red roan. I'm trying to breed a lot of our cream horses because we have so many bays and chestnuts. And I'm trying to breed the cream because the cream um, will not pass on a bay and a chestnut gene. Um, at least I don't think so. In my experience playing with this mod, they don't. So, we'll see about that. Um, but today we're actually going to be starting a new project, which I'm super excited for. Um, we are going to start on our paddocks. So, my plan is, um, we're going to build a barn like this over on this side, and that's going to be the mare barn. But then we have this huge open area. So what I plan on doing is building outdoor like paddocks um, for like an individual horse. So we're going to have like a paddock here. We're going to have a paddock here. And it's going to wrap all the way around to the end of that barn. And then we'll put some in the middle too. So it's kind of like its own barn but in paddocks in a little, in a, in a way. Um, so we're going to actually start on that project. But we're going to start on the mare side because we are out of stalls for mares. So if one of our foals that we just bred for turns out to be a mare, we have no space for it. So um, we're going to start building paddocks on this side first. Let me put this up for now. So I'm going to be using, let's see, what fencing did I use for in the stalls? Hello, Delilah. Okay, so I just used normal oak fencing. Also, sorry if I sound a little bit sick right now. My allergies are really bad, um, and I have a feeling they're going to turn into a sinus infection because mine always do when my allergies get really bad. So I sound a little bit sick right now. Um, just ignore that. Uh, for outdoor paddocks, I think I'm going to do oak slabs roof, and then we'll worry about... Um, Actually, you know what? Do I want to use that? Or do I want to use one of these? Let me see if I can find it. Um, mm, 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 mm. Maybe we'll use, not the separator. I don't need the separator. Gosh darn it. I need this. Yes, that is what I need. So it might do either of those. So I think I'm going to make it the same width that our stalls are, and then just longer. So I'm going to 
I don't want it to be right up against that one. Let me see. Okay. That's, okay, that's that. Okay, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven. Maybe we'll do eleven. That seems like a good size for a little paddock, if I do say so myself. Okay. Okay, I like that. I can live with that. We're going to put a gate here, and I don't like this, so we're going to actually replace it. Nope. With this. So that way it's not like awkward. But at the same time, that just looks a little weird. It looks very like closed off. I don't want it to look that closed off. So I think I'm just going to use the normal gates. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay, and then since they're going to be outside 24-7, I do want them to be able to have a shelter. Look at Delilah. She's just watching us. And the horses are very much enjoying having a small paddock out because all of them are currently outside, which is so exciting to see. They all look so happy. Okay, let's do... Is that enough? Or do I want to... Because what I do, what I plan on doing is I'm going to have the roof and then I'm going to have it drop down to where it like kind of mimics the roof of the barn. I just want it to them to be able to have, like the horses to be able to have enough headroom. You know what? We're going to steal Delilah and we're going to toss her in this paddock real quick to see if this will be an appropriate size because... She's a pretty tall horse, so I think so, right? Yeah, she's 15-1. I think that's okay for, like, I mean, obviously you're not going to be riding them, but I feel like, yeah, you're going to hit your head on it if you ride them in. But I feel like just for a horse, it's okay. Um, let me... Try this and see if I like this height more. I just feel like that's so tall. Okay, we're gonna go with the lower one. So I feel like this is really unnecessarily tall. So we're gonna go with this one. Okay, come on Delilah. Back in your home. Sorry to disturb you. She's so pretty. I really want more Appaloosas like her, but we have not been successful in getting more any more Appaloosas. We have like the Varnish Roan Appaloosa, but I really want either a blanket, a snow cap, or another leopard Appaloosa. Okay, how do we feel about three? I feel like three is good enough for a shelter. And then this is going to go around here. Bruh. Come on now. It'll go like this. And then... See, that feels very closed off now. I don't like that. With it at the front, it makes it feel closed off. Maybe we just do this where it's just like on the sides, you know? And then it feels more open. And then we obviously need to add these. 
and that way they have a little bit of shelter away from the elements, but okay, I feel like the three is a little wonky. I might make it a little bit bigger. The three's the three's a little wonky. Yeah, that's better. And they have more space underneath as well. Because we're also going to put their food under there and their water is going to go under there. Um, and then I'll lay down shavings as well for them. Yes, this looks great. I like this. And then for the insides, we're going to do um, shavings. So I really like the medium shavings. From this one mod, and then we're going to need a grain feeder, and then we're going to need water. So this will be the water. Perfect. Okay, and then I think I'm going to do their food and water in this corner. Oh, I need food. Duh. If I'm going to fill a grain feeder with food, I kind of need to grab the food. There we go, and then shavings, we're just going to lay down some shavings. We don't need a lot in here. Just enough to make the ponies comfortable. I like this. This is comfy. I like that. Okay. That looks really comfy. Maybe we'll just... How does that look? I like this. This is, this is nice and comfy. I like that. Perfect. And then we'll have like their chest out front that'll have their book on it. Um, that way we can always just take a peek at their genetics book as well. Um, this is very much a simple paddock design. I've done more intricate um, like shelter designs and stuff. If you guys um, watch the Ocean, Sh Ocean Side Acres barn tour video, you can see that I did like a full like miniature style barn for the shelters and the paddocks but that took a lot um, of time so I kind of just like these more simple um, designs so I think I'm just going to continue with this and I like that um, they can have a paddock because a lot of times in real life um, some horses aren't stalled at all which is honestly a great thing and so Horses will either be kept in a small paddock for a little bit before they go out to, like, a larger pasture. So, like, I like the uh, paddock idea. And then the horses have more space, which is, like, which is why I like to have um, paddocks attached to stalls. Because um, it just makes the horses feel more comfortable and it gives them more room to walk around and they don't get stuck as easily. Um, in like the corners of their stalls and stuff. Um, and in real life, I think I said this in my last video, in real life, my horse, um, he has a little paddock connected to his stall. Um, so, I'm stuck on the fence. It just adds a little bit of realism. And it's much easier to build a lot of paddocks than it is to build a whole barn with a specific amount of stalls. Um, paddocks are quick and easy to build for the most part, so they don't take up a lot of time. Obviously we can't finish all the paddocks on the side of the barn today because we have to build that barn over there eventually. Um, I just wanted to get some of them built for now. So that way we have room for our horses. So I think I'm just going to do two on this side for now in case both of, both of our foals are um, fillies. Um, that way we are prepared and we have space for them. And then we're going to go start on the stallion side because this side you can actually build so many more. And I'm just planning on building them um, outlined to the rest of the stalls. Um, this might be a little problematic over here we might have to we might have to figure out something for this corner where these two stalls like can join we might just have to skip these and put one here and then put one there something like that I'm not sure what we're gonna have to do but I will figure it out okay and then I 
don't remember how far I went out. I think 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I want to say it was 11 out. I could be wrong though. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. It was 11. I was right. Wow. Most of the times I like miscount or something, but I'm, I remembered that time. I'm very impressed with myself. Alright. This, and then we did a little shelter. My fingers are not working today. Did I do that? I don't think that was supposed to be that big. It very well could have been, and I just forgot. It is that big. I just forgot. That's perfectly okay. I've had one too many concussions to be able to remember tiny things. And then these pasture ponies, or these pasture ponies, the paddock horses will still get treated the same as the barn horses. Like, they'll still get bred, they'll still have babies, um, we'll still use them for our breeding program. It's not like, um, these guys in this pasture where I just won't use them for breeding, just for riding. that and then we're gonna build another one there so I'm not gonna mark that off yet and then we do have plenty of rooms for stallions at the moment so I'm not too concerned with building all of these right now because we still have room in the second barn um, that barn over there we still have room for them so I'm not like too overly concerned with building all of these at the moment But I feel like we are finally like making good progress with this barn because I feel like for a little bot for a little while, like I just wasn't making much progress with this barn. But now I feel like we're actually making progress, which I'm very pleased with, pleased with myself about. But you know, it always is a process to building a barn, and when you're doing a barn series like this, it's gonna take a little bit longer because you have to film it, um, you have to do a bunch of extra little things that you wouldn't normally have to do if you were just building a barn to do like a barn tour or just to build a barn for fun, you know? So it, it, it does take a little bit more time to build a barn when you're doing a barn series because you have to film it. And filming, it's, it takes a lot. Um, and then you have to edit it, which takes even longer. And so it, it just it's a longer process than for most barns. Alright. But then like I have my golden ivy equestrian center barn that I've been working on for literally months at this point, and I'm still not done with it. Like I'm most of the way done with it, but I'm still working on like the extra little details before I do an updated barn tour of it. Like, right now, I'm still working on the cross-country course, I'm working on the trails that go around the barn, and so it just, it takes a, a, it takes a while to build, like, a decent barn. Obviously, you can just throw a quick barn together in, like, an hour, and you can have space for ponies, but if you're building a barn to make it look realistic, like I'm trying to do, it does take time because you have to pay attention to detail. So... And this all leads me back to finally making progress with this barn, which I'm finally pleased with. Okay, let's go ahead and pause and check on our babies real quick, which are both going to be over here on this side of the barn. Yeah, they're going to be down over here. Okay. All right, the first one bred was the lilac, so we'll go ahead and check on her. <gasps> Wait a minute. 
Wait a minute, what is this? What is this? Is this a Perlino? Is this a Perlino? Lilac. None of y'all carried the pearl gene. So how is it pearl? Unless because... Wait a minute. No, because now I'm confused. Wait, who did I breed her to again? I bred... Levi to Lilac. But none of them carry the pearl gene, so that's really weird. And it's done, because the mom is done. Lilac has the done gene. But that's so weird. Unless, because I think Levi's a cream, so maybe a double cream creates a pearl gene in the full. This has my mind, like, blown. I need to grow this full up, guys, because... I'm actually, like, my mind is blown. Like, I can't wait for this bowl to grow up. Hold on. Let me grab a book real quick. Wait, because this is so cool. I did not expect this. Wait. Please like me. It's a mare. Okay. A 13-hand mare. Okay, let's see. Okay, so it's not a pearl, it's a double cream. A done double cream. I'm going to have to Google what this looks like in real life, because is a double cream the same thing as a pearl, but this horse doesn't have the pearl gene? But it looks like a pearlino. This horse is very confusing. Okay, oh, well, I guess since I grew it up because I couldn't wait, usually I let them grow up, like, on their own, we're just gonna go ahead and move her. She jumps pretty well. This will be a fun horse to breed. This is, like, my first time experiencing a double cream, but I forgot Levi was a cream. Okay, that's very interesting. You're a very interesting pony, ma'am. Um... I will name her later. Let's go check on our other mare. She has not had a baby yet. So, we'll go ahead and name her real quick. Um, I did not expect that. That was... I'm speechless. I'm gonna have to Google what a double cream gene is in, like, a real-life horse. Because now I'm very confused. Because it looks like a Perlino. That's very weird. Okay. What should we name her? Um, do, 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 do. Let me look at my list of names. I have a list of like a hundred, like over a hundred names at this point. Probably close to 200 names um, for horses and it's for this purpose because I can never come up with good names on the spot so I just write them down so I can remember them okay let's go with oh this is a good one for her Topaz I feel like that suits her Topaz is a good name for her and then we can go ahead and get your book and then let me grab a box real quick. Not a box. What do they call them? Chests. That's what they call them. A box. I don't know where I got that from. Apparently chests are now called boxes, guys. Okay, this will be a fun mare to breed. I'm super excited to play with the double cream gene. Because I did not know that was like an actual thing in this um, mod. Because I've never experienced it. Um, but yeah. I knew it was a real thing in real life. But usually they're just called like... Perlinos or something. Alright, Avalon, have you... Are you not gonna have your foal? Are you serious? She's not pregnant? I thought I bred her. Didn't I breed her? Or am I just, like, actually tripping? 
No, because I did. I bred her to... Cisco. Did I forget to breed them? I forgot to breed them. What a dummy. Oh my gosh, guys. That's actually really... Oh no, I didn't breed her. I bred this one. Wait, I just brain farted so bad. And we have Bay. A solid Bay. I just brain farted so bad, guys. I apologize for that. That was... I'm sure y'all got a good laugh out of that. I... It's literally, like, 9 o'clock in the morning, guys. Like, I just woke up. <laughs> um, okay, so we have a little bay. Um, super cute. No markings, which is kind of surprising, because mom's an overo. Um, but I'm not disappointed. You can never go wrong with a bay. Except the sole purpose of breeding these guys were to hopefully not get a bay or a chestnut. But here we are with a bay. Um, very cute, though. I do like the, the shading of this bay. Um, so I'm very excited about that. But seeing as this video is already 30 minutes long, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, very exciting fall for us, our little double cream mare. Um, and congrats to Lily's owner, Green Sea Turtle. Congrats. Um, Truffle is still up for grabs. Um as the contest horse, and then, um, our other contest horse for this video is going to be Envy. Envy was, I think, our very first foal that we bred in this world, which is, I do love her dearly. She's produced a lot of our Overo. She is, um, Aspen's mom, who's our Bay Roan Overo over there. Um, she's Dallas's mom, which is a Chestnut Overo over there. So, she's produced quite a lot of babies for us, um, but she's very pretty, Bay Overo mare. She's pretty tall, I think around 15 hands. Um, but if you want a chance to win her, read the description down below. Yeah, she's 15 one hands. Um, she's by Apollo and out of Delilah, so two of my favorite horses in this world um, are her parents. Um, but read the description down below to um, see the rules on how to potentially win her. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!